Hello, hello, hello! Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Hello! Midweek critique. Midweek critique. Midweek critique. Midweek critique. Everyone, midweek critique. Midweek critique. Today, midweek critique. I apologize yesterday, I was waiting for some ingredients that were supposed to be here yesterday, but they did not come, but I got them today, so that's what we are doing. Okay, right off the bat, right off the bat, no sponsor today, unfortunately, um, no sponsor today, unfortunately, oh, hold on a second, I'm trying to pull up these recipes, whoa, how did I do that? See, this is the problem with things when they change. See, when apps update, they change. And now do things work the way that they should be? That's the problem. All right. So that seems to work like that. Except if I close that, can I open it again? Okay, that seems to work. All right. So let me connect this. Hello, everyone. We are at... I believe we're on episode six of Midweek Critique. I have nothing set up, so this <laughs> this is going to be a little discombobulated. I was just uh, uh, doing some like camera testing with the with my new Canon camera that I have, and like one of the videos we were doing like overheating testings, and I found out like some crazy shit about the camera, and then I uploaded a video about it, and now it's like going viral, and I basically have been dealing with all of that, which is a good thing. And then with Apple, it's, you know, you tell it to not send alerts because I don't want you guys to see my alerts. And then it sends them anyway, which is nice. So thank you for that, Apple. Um, so I, I'm a little bit discombobulated. That's okay. We're going to get into the swing of things. Midweek critique every Thursday. No, every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. The things that you want to do to send your recipe in. Stream Labs, I'm sorry, Stream Elements is going to drop a link to the store with your points from watching the show over on Twitch. With your points, you can redeem your points to send your recipe in, and that's how the show has been going on. We have our recipes for today. We have, let's see, can I do this? Picture in picture, boom. We have 
Dex Sanctum's recipe, creamy strawberry custard, which looks very, very tasty. We're gonna get into this one from Dex Sanctum, or just Sanctum, or as he goes by on in the chat, Elm Nation, I believe. Then we have Honeycomb Ice Cream by J Pentecost Vintage. Doesn't seem like it wants to work now. So that's annoying. How do I, come on, you bitch. You dirty bitch. How do I just open the link? You know what I mean? Open, 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 open. Maybe I need to update it. Give me a second, I'm gonna turn this off. Maybe I need to update my apps. I bet you that's the problem, huh? I bet you that's the problem. Update, there it is, there's an update. Um, shut up! So, if you haven't seen uh, Tuesday's show, Tuesday's show, which is the Wake Up With Wayne show, I revealed to everyone that I'm gonna be a daddy! I'm gonna milk it all week. I'm gonna milk it all week. I'm living in the, I'm living in the, uh, the, the warm glow of fatherhood, understanding fatherhood. Well, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Anything could happen. God forbid anything could happen. But I am very excited about this. Been thinking about, oh man, what kind of dad should I be? Should I be a big buff dad? Should I start lifting weights? Should I be a nerdy dad? Right? Should I be a tough guy dad? Should I be a absent dad? That's not a bad thing. I mean, maybe for the kid, eventually down the line. But a couple of guys that I know seem to turn out really successful with their dads not present. Should I be one of those? Should I just leave, get up and get out of here? Uh, so I've been thinking about stuff like that, and um, in the meantime, kind of preparing for all of that, and in the meantime, working on a little project that's coming up shortly. Uh, what have you guys been up to? Have you guys been? Have you guys missed me yesterday? I know you wanted to see the show yesterday, but unfortunately, we had to postpone it. They might. There might be more postponements as well in the future. Future. So just a little heads up. I don't want anyone to think. That things are smooth sailing all the time. This 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 child has definitely thrown a wrench into the plans. Someone said so, someone said it's not a wrench. You didn't throw a wrench into the plans. You threw a baby into the plans. And I said, you know what? That actually works. So, all right. So next one, honey. Oh, there's ads. Look at that little ads at the top. I don't notice ads on the internet anymore because of because of the ad blockers. Uh. J Pentecost or M Mr. JWP Honeycomb Ice Cream. That's another one we're gonna look at. Ooh, a lot going on here. A lot going on here. A lot going on here. I should have everything for that. I think I do. Let's close this one. Faded J's Watson Silver, which looks like a weird sort of like cornbread, like nutty cornbread vanilla Turkish tobacco style vape. I'm very excited to try this one out. This one looks really interesting. So I can't wait to take a look at this one. I was actually, this is the ingredient that I was waiting for, the 555 gold. I didn't have that one in. And uh, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, I believe Faded J was like one of the first to send his recipes in. He sent it in, of course, the wrong way, but we did get to it. So I do want to check that one out. Then we have Mint Kit Kat by Jersey Joe. Mint Kit Kat by Jersey Joe, which uh, looks very fascinating as well. And then finally, if we can get to you, we should be able to, but it's Graphics Man Blueberry Tobacco or Blue Balls. Let's see, now it's not working. This is so stupid. Now it just doesn't want to open. I'm clicking it. You see me clicking it. You see it. You see me clicking. What's going on here, man? Notion. Come on, Notion. I use you every day. Every single day, this is my favorite app. And this is how you're gonna do me? This is how he does me. All right, I guess I could do it like this. Copy link. We're not gonna use Notion right now. It's too risky, man. It's too risky, dude. All right, so we're gonna open that there. Oh my God. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Oh my God. It opens it in the Notion webpage. I hate technology sometimes. 
See, this is the thing, and this is the thing with the camera, because I've been doing those camera tests. These tech companies, you need to hire someone like me. You need to hire someone like me to dig into your product and find all the dumb shit that you do with it. Like, why would you change the link where I click the link and then it doesn't update? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. I Then I'd go, hey, I'm clicking this link. It doesn't update. Whatever you're doing to this link, stop it immediately. No need to change links. No need to update them. No need to update link firmware. Leave them alone. They've always worked fine, okay? Thank you. Now that we know that the links are fine, how about the tabs? Oh, you're going to change the tabs? How about just leave the tabs alone? You know what I mean? I get so angry sometimes. This is, I maybe I'll be an angry dad. Maybe that'll be my, uh, <laughs> maybe that'll be my, uh, thing. I'm angry dad. Wow, well, don't go near, don't go near Mr. Walker. He's angry all the time. All right. <laughs> Vote helicopter parenting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Elm Nation, I'm working on tobacco now, so once that's where I want it, I'll definitely submit it. Hell yeah, dude, send that shit in. Yelling at technology, very dad-like. <laughs> I know. What's going on, man? What the fuck? I have this screen in... Oh my god. This is making me so mad. Why would that... Why would a screen... Here, let me ask you something. Why would a screen pop... I didn't, I didn't even... I'm not even clicking that computer. So let me ask you, why would a screen pop up covering the entire window that I'm looking at. So like, that's another thing. Hey, Windows, um, maybe don't just pop screens up when you're doing something. Maybe maybe leave that firmware update uh, out of it because you don't really, that seems to make no sense. All right, anyway, getting on with the game. Let's start pulling the flavorings. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? I'm gonna need to do karaoke on Friday. I think karaoke is something that we're gonna need to get going. Kate isn't here, but she uh, she has no work. Unfortunately, I was gonna have her come on and, and hang out for a second, but by the way, did you guys notice she wasn't vaping? Like she wasn't coming on the show uh, and she wasn't vaping? But not only that, there's an episode where we knew she was pregnant. Let's see if someone can find it. We knew she was pregnant and I told her, I go, hey, you know, taste this. Why don't you taste this? Because that's what we do. Sometimes she tastes the flavors that I make on live mixing and she reviews them. And I said, hey, taste this. And then you couldn't see, but she was just like, mmm, tastes really good. That's excellent stuff. <laughs> Pass it back. And we were laughing about that before, but uh, let me know if you know what episode that is. All right. So Dax, Dex Sanctum. Dax Sanctum. Bavarian cream. Let me get these ingredients. I usually get them out before the show, but I, I was redlining it, man. I was, I, I was got all this work to do right before the show. All right. So let's see. Cream by Flavora. 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 It's creamy, it's creamy, it's cream by Flavora. Is it nothing, and is there anything better than a fresh flave? Is there anything better than a fresh flave? Custard by In? Custard by Inuera. Merengue. Merengue, shisha strawberry. Shisha strawberry, shisha vanilla. Yes. Mom, I want a vape. Chem Nevatic. Oh! That's right, this is used as Chem Nevatic strawberry. Cap sweet strawberry. And then super sweet. All right, let's get mixing. Mixing. Oh, I lied. I lied. We're not. We're not going to get mixing. Oh, wait. I have a whole big old bottle right there. 
All right, here we go. Finally got my Molenberry and Super Concentrate lines in from Molenberry. Stuck in customs for two months? No, 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 no. There's no way. That's crazy. Why were they stuck in customs? Maybe they, uh... See, that's the thing with customs. It's so random, right? You could just be screwed. You just never know. This came on. Beauteous. Beauteous. Have you ever seen such beautiful technology before? Beauteous. Let's turn this on. Bam! Wow. Beauteous. Oh, we have to adapt this. This is the worst thing about ELR. Adapt. You have to adapt them. I don't like that. I'll do 70-30 if that's what you want me to do. All right, here we go. Let's try this out. Let's get mixed. Bavarian cream at two and a half. Okay, I like it. I'm excited. I like strawberry creams. You guys know me. Whoa, what the fuck? What is going on? Can someone explain to me what, what type of fuckery is going on right now? Did you just see that scale? Did you just see that scale? Bye bye. What's going on? What is that? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, um, hold on, let me do something. We need to calibrate. It's time to calibrate. Time to calibrate your comp. Come on. It's calibrate. It's time to calibrate. How do I do this? I forget. Okay, go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You dirty scale, you. My 501 stopped working after like two years. I've never had one not work. What do I do now? Do I just press this button again? Take that off. Okay, come on now. What? Oh, I didn't do it right. Put on your second weight. That's right. All right, let's try this again. Bring me my motherfucking vape, boys! <laughs> Am I doing this right? I forget. Do I press any buttons? <clears throat> you have to have the number flashing when you put the weight on. Oh. Oh, uh, let's try this again. Hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. Turn off. Look at it go. It's all fucked up, dude. It's all fucked up. Calibrate good times. Come on. This is like... Imagine, imagine, imagine this being shot out at you at like bullet speed. This is like a 50 cal, but way heavier. Come on, what's taking this so long? I got a show to do. This is making me mad, dude. Time to go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> this is so is it dead is it just dead is it dying There, there we go. Calibrate that fucking thing now. Four hundo. Pass. Give a round of applause. What does that mean? Should be four hundo. All right, let's try. I'm going to have to try this again. All right. Waste another bottle, I guess. Money grows on trees, I guess. All right, sorry, guys. All right, I apologize. Hopefully, you got a little kick out of that. Let's see if we have the same issues. Is it my wireless keyboard, you think, maybe? No, can't be. I do this all the time. You know what? I'm hoping that the scale wasn't all fucked up when I was doing my recipe testing for for the mix-off. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> tasted good, I guess. Tasted good to me, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> you just get a completely unflavored fucking thing. I don't think so. I haven't seen this issue before. Never happened before, so... Hopefully we're okay. New fresh bottle of Flavor Cream. Come on now. Let's go. <laughs> Kate is currently shopping for baby things. She's shopping for baby things. She got some baby clothes already. Um, Very cute. It's pretty nuts, man. I don't know. It's... I think it's insane. I think what's going on right now with me is insane. It kind of had it, it's kind of like just hit me after we learned the uh after we learned the uh sex. So now I'm like, "Oh man. So much so, so much to think about, so much to worry about. I feel like my worry meter just shot through the roof. You know what I mean?" Shisha strawberry does smell really good, man. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a worrying kind of guy. That's not the kind of guy that I am. Um, it takes a, it, it does take a lot to get me angry. It takes a lot to get me worried. It takes a lot to get me upset. Just not the kind of guy I am. But uh, I feel like immediately my worry, like for example, the other night, I was uh. I ate a bunch of sugar. I don't remember what I ate. But I ate a bunch of sugar and my heart was like beating pretty heavily. I was like, oh my God. Only 1% of strawberry came to the attic. Okay. Uh, but my heart was like beating out of my chest a little bit. A little bit too much. And it was, it was just more noticeable than, you know, normally. And I started think I started like almost having a panic attack. Like I'm going to have a heart attack and die and I'll never be able to see my daughter and blah, blah, blah. And like that, that's when I was like, oh my God, maybe I'm worrying way too much. You got a lot of strawberries in here. I'm curious to see how this works out. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just, it's a lot of, a lot of a very volatile ingredient. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the worry that I'm talking about. Like. Just extreme added worry. I mean, this is coming from someone that used to snort Adderall and Oxycontin all hours of the day. You know what I mean? You think I was worried about my heart then? But now I eat a fucking cannoli and my uh, heart feels like it's going to explode. Now, it could just be that I'm getting older. It could be I'm just getting old. I put a little too much super sweet in there. That's the problem with these 10 mil batches. It's like, it's really hard to measure out exactly a half a percent of super sweet. Speedballs, those were the good days. CeeLo, I miss those days. <laughs> I know, they, those days were fun. They were fun, weren't they? Don't do drugs, kids. It's not worth it.
Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, you had it at... See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Technology failed me again! So when you adapt it, it keeps the person's nicotine level. Like, this is a huge oversight. Why is this not fixed? Well, I guess it's two milligrams now because I just poured two milligrams in. Luckily, I caught that before, uh, before I poured six milligrams in. This is the shit that I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You know what? <sighs> what is going on in my brain today? Hey, maybe it's a good idea if I, you know, uh, took the fucking paper off. You guys are getting a show, huh? You guys are getting to see Flustered Wayne. You like that? Is it? Do, do I entertain? There we go. Get this out of here. Ooh, yeah. Is there anything better than fresh base? Fresh P VGPG? I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference when it's fresh like this. Tastes better. Tastes so much cleaner and more invisible. Mm. I can't get enough. Can't get enough. Let's do a flick of the wrist. Mine jumps when the wind blows. Yeah. It hasn't even started yet. <laughs> Kids equal worry. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Just grab a vape and a bourbon. Hey, I like the way you think, man. I like the way you think. All right. Okay, we got one, we did it. We were able to get one, okay? We got it, don't worry. Daddy's here to save you, to save the day. Daddy's here. <laughs> don't worry. Daddy's here, don't worry guys, daddy's here. All right. Now it is not, now it is not the same. You adapted it after starting. Give a high score. Oh yeah. Okay, five out of five. You win. I'm about ready to blow your fucking mind. It defaults to six milligrams. I have done that adapting my own recipe. No, I think it defaults. I don't know. Maybe it does default to six milligrams, but I know that, um, you have to adapt it and you have to change every parameter. Otherwise, it just goes off what the person input in the recipe. Which I understand, but I think that just the base, should they shouldn't fill that in. They should say, you have to fill this in yourself. And then I should just be able to do it from the, from the mix screen. Like the way that all the flavors does it is superior in my opinion. See, we need someone to, to make it so we have the best of ATF, the best of ELR. V is VCC being that? I don't know. I've been using VCC a lot more lately. I want kids. Boyfriend wants kids. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it happens soon because we're, well, we're because we're old. I'll take I'll take Wayne's situation as a sign. It's probably not, but whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that's another thing that we were. Th that's another thing that I was thinking about, and I'm sure Kate thought about it as well. Probably more so because she is a woman. But it's like I'm not getting any younger. And I know like a couple of my friends, they're the same age. They're not 100% ready right now. And I was like, you're never going to be ready. You're just never going to be ready. There's so many downsides to having a kid. Like it just doesn't make any sense. It's like logically a terrible idea to have a child. You know, especially in today's age. Logically, you'll never be ready. But you have to think like, you know, when you have a kid and you're 35 or you have a kid and you're 40, that kid turns 10 and you're already nearing 50, you're already nearing 60. Um, so it's something that I want to think about. I think 30 is a pretty standard age. So, and then another thing was we were thinking about trying. Like we weren't even thinking about having the child. We were thinking about trying. It just so happened, so happens to be that we don't have to try that hard, at least this time. 
I've been using this thing a lot too. This thing has been working nice. Smells good, dude. This recipe smells good. It smells good. I like it. It's it smells um How do I explain it? It smells uh It smells like old school, like old school strawberry cream. Off the hand it tastes great. This could be very impressive. Now let me ask you, let's read his thing first. Let me ask cuz I remember you said something about it. Uh, two to five days, let the cream develop. This recipe has changed so much over the past three months, but I'm finally happy with it now. It started with me wanting to incorporate CNV strawberry into something, so I made it sit on ice cream base, but I found that I, I, I straight taste pepper with any of them, so I changed it to be more cream based and added some vanilla to emulate the vanilla ice cream. After all that, I added some Bavarian cream, which I initially originally wanted to stay away from due to burnout from it. I added some meringue to add a bit more sweetness and where custard to bring some more extra mouthfeel and because I think it works well with Favor cream so that stayed then I worked on the strawberries as I said earlier I wanted to work on CNV strawberry into the mix so I originally paired it with TFA strawberry right but that wasn't great so I swapped over the um, to almost the strawberry chew and shisha strawberry aided in that by making what almost feels like a strawberry caramel and I used sweet strawberry to really round out the profile while I'm happy where it is right now I still feel some things missing so any feedback okay and you're uh, yes yes Yes! We got someone who's actually taking the time to put the that thing on there. Thank you, sir. Citadel, uh, looks like you're doing some sort of like triple gauge Clapton or something. Some triple gauge Clapton. There looks like 30, 30 gauge, 330 gauge wrapped with 38 gauge, 16, 316L. And you're at zero or uh, you're at zero point four four. That's actually pretty high for that type of coil. All right, let's get a drip going. Very impressive. Very impressive. You got good tadpoles. Yes, you have the pandemic, but crime is much lower than the 70s and 90s. That's, that's very true, Juice Man. Very true. I'm thinking more in terms of, uh, like, uh, economically, the, we're not in the best position. I mean, technically, maybe we are, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, Wayne, you have been Kate's... Ha Wayne, have you been Kate's tummy yet? Did Kate feel the baby kicking? No, there's nothing... There's no kicking yet. There's no kicking yet. Not not yet. Thank you, Mason the Taco Man. Becca Wayne, the strawberry banana you made last week came out really good. Yeah, it did. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, Becca. How old am I? I am turning 30 September. I'm about to be 30. How old are you and Kate? Kate is a year younger than me. She's 29 now, but when I, I'm going to turn 30 soon, and then we're going to be like, we're a few months apart. The kicking scared me. Hey, I, I like this. I like this a lot. I like this recipe a lot. It, see, this is the thing, though. I need to be more tough on these strawberries and cream because it doesn't take much to impress me with strawberry and cream. I like this recipe a lot. I do think it needs something. I'm trying to figure out what. I'm kind of getting lightheaded. Um. I don't think it needs much though. Like I, I think it's pretty fucking good where it's at. Hey, thank you, uh, Alexander, for the subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you for joining the cult. Uh, 
I don't think it needs too much. It does seem thinner. Like it, it does seem thin. So I'm gonna try to really nitpick you. And remember, this is a midweek critique. We're not nice anymore. We're not doing nice reviews on midweek critique. So ultimately, ultimately, it's fine. You know what I mean? Like it's fine ultimately. Which is high praise. <laughs> it's pretty high praise in this scenario. I like your addition of Chem Nevadic. I think, yeah, I think the Chem Nevadic strawberry should be utilized more. It is a really good strawberry. It, it is jammier. Like chewy, chewy strawberry. But it does seem thin. It doesn't seem like it's custard. It just doesn't seem like it's custard. But it's not bad. Like it reminds me of a of a strawberry cream that I had from a commercial company that I thought was pretty good. You know, at the end of the day, because you're using the meringue, you're using the cream, you're using the Bavarian, it's still like very similar to a lot of strawberries and creams. There's really like no uniqueness about it. I think the most unique thing about it is the Chem Nevada strawberry. And it actually does set it set it apart from a lot of the other ones. So I, sh I shouldn't say that it's not unique because just the addition of the Chem Nevada strawberry puts it in a different class. It does seem to be like a more sticky, gummy, chewy strawberry. But I do want more out of the cream. I want more. It's not a custard. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's a custard. I can imagine letting it sit a little bit will probably help this. I can imagine letting it sit a little bit will help will help what's going on. Um, <clears throat> I can just I can already tell that letting it sit, the creams will develop a little bit more. I kind of want you to get rid of the meringue. I kind of want you to get rid of the meringue. And instead, try to consolidate some of the creams. Uh, consolidate, figure out what cream is working the most here. I'm thinking it's the Bavarian cream with the Flavora cream, which would mean you probably don't need the Shisha Vanilla, you probably don't need the Meringue, and instead swap it with something thicker, maybe a cheesecake, maybe a vanilla custard, maybe something denser, maybe something cakey. Something to really thicken things up because it does feel quite thin in terms of like you get like a nice sort of like saturated strawberry on the top and then you do get a milk flavor. But if you're going for custard, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it custard because it is quite thin on that finish. But if, if you want to rename it strawberry milk, I think you have a much more accurate profile. Yeah, it's a lot closer to strawberry milk. You fucking idiot! Custard! Derp. Custard! No way, it's milk! I need a milk button. You got your organic cotton in there, you're vaping on it. Ooh, wait! It's tasty. <laughs> it is tasty. It is pretty fucking tasty. Alright, how do we score this? How do we score this? I don't want to knock you too much on accuracy. Um, I don't want to knock you too much on accuracy. Because custard has become ubiquitous with cream and milk. It's all kind of the same thing, especially when there's fruit involved. I would be way, way more, I would be way tougher on you if this was just a custard. But it's not. It is a strawberry milk, strawberry cream, strawberry custard. They all kind of fit in the same sort of genre. So I don't want to knock you too much on accuracy. I don't think it's quite accurate to the custard. Again, I think you're closer to milk. Um, but that's really my biggest critique. I think you nailed the strawberry flavor. I think you nailed the strawberry flavor pretty well. Like, I like the strawberry flavor coming out of this. I like that like sticky sweet st 
strawberry syrupy gummy chewy thing going on it's less watery it's less juicy you know um a lot of strawberries a lot of strawberry creams and a lot of strawberries in general end up watery and they end up kind of watered down and a little too a little too light this isn't the case this is very very saturated someone who is like tough with strawberries maybe you don't maybe you can taste them but not nearly as much you might want to try this on that because this does bring like a really saturated strawberry really just the creams that i have a problem with they're just kind of Meh, you know what I mean? They're just kind of there. They're 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 they they're accurate to more to milk. Uh, there's no like butter. There's no like egg involved. There's no real mouth feel involved on the cream side. It's really just like a like a just like a straightforward strawberry milk. But it's good. It is good. It is good. We're going to give you... Three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five. Let's give a round of applause to our friend, Dex Santum Elm Nation. Round of applause, sir. Three and a half out of five. Um... I think that's fair. I think if you were to fix the creams, if you were to get it to a better, thicker, creamier, custardier cream profile, you could easily get a four out of five. And then if you were able to really kind of push the boundaries there, um, then it, then then you can get to a four and a half out of five. That's kind of how I've been looking at this grading score. Like Like how many steps do you need to get to perfect? I think you're definitely above average. It's better than a lot of the strawberry milk, strawberry creams that I've had. Uh, so I so I think that deserves a high praise in itself. It's just, it's not a custard. It's just not a custard. It's a nice strawberry and cream with a good real with a really good strawberry base and a, and a okay cream base on the finish. Yeah, that's what you're missing. That's what you're missing. You're missing that thick, rich, dense, that succulent decadent, luxurious mouthfeel. How's that? Is that okay? Do you like that? Is that all right? I feel like it's a three and a half or a four. Maybe I'm just being hard on myself. No, I agree. Three and a half. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say four. It's certainly a three and a half. Strong three and a half. Um, if, I, if you caught me on a bad day, I, could de I can definitely call it a three if you caught me on a bad day. But uh, I'm going to give you a three and a half. I think it's, I think because of the strawberry base is so good, it deserves to be a little bit higher than a three, a little bit higher than above average. So con congrats. That's pretty good. Congrats. Congrats. Good job. I like it. 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 And, and, and I'm going to give you, so we're going to give you a three and a half plus an ooey. You got your organic cotton in there. You're vaping on it. Ooh, wait. Because of your use for the Citadel, uh, you know, your, your little note here about what you use. So you get a little ooey on the side there. All right. What are we moving on to next? Let's try this buttermilk. I mean, I'm sorry, the honeycomb ice cream cone. Honeycomb ice cream by Mr. JWP08. All right, this should be fun because it looks insane. <laughs> this looks, it's got milk froth in there. Uh, should I do this one last maybe? Yeah, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. All right, butterscotch ripple. Give me a second. Let me uh, get these ingredients. I'll play some tunes for you. How about that? Another Favora cream.
wait too much going on. I'm almost all out of these amber bottles. Really didn't really didn't last that long. I thought this was gonna last me a lot longer. I've been doing a lot of these things though, so I guess it's not too bad. Should I wash them? I mean, all those up there, it's, it's probably a hundred bottles up there. Should I just wash them? I really don't wanna buy more bottles. I hate spending money on bottles. There we go. There we go, baby. Too bright. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. All right, butterscotch ripple. Okay, that's the first. You got a lot going on here, which leads me to believe you're probably you're probably one of these uh, mixers who just add a little of this, add a little of that, add a little of this. But we shall see. We shall see. Coffee milk froth, vape train, three quarters. Got another three quarter er. <laughs> Favor cream. You guys like your Favor cream, huh? One drop, essentially, one drop of this. I don't want to do more than that. Is that 0 0.3? Let's see if I can get a half a drop. There we go. Come on. Usually it doesn't register until 0 0.5. Greek yogurt. For those who want to know how to do the half a drop, it's very simple. You kind of like just get like a little nub on the tip and then you have to shake it off basically into the bottle. That's how you get it. You don't... You don't, uh, you don't like do a full drip. Greek Yogi. Let's so fucking do another half a drop here. Get it to 0 0.6. Perfect. See? Half drop. See, you guys learn things when you watch the DIY Die Network. Honeycomb. We got 4% on the... Oh, no, 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 not yet. Toffee ice cream. So, Hokey Pokey ice cream is essentially toffee ice cream, correct? They're the same thing, right? If they're not, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I couldn't find Hokey Pokey ice cream. Two, three... Thank you guys for helping the the noobs teaching them how to get into the store. Four percent of this honeycomb. A quarter percent pound cake. Smoked butterscotch, half a percent of smoked butterscotch. Oh my God, are you kidding me with this? 0.15 smooth vanilla. And then two and three quarters vanilla ice cream, liquid barn. And 
And then a little super sweet. To register a tiny amount after you drop it in, push your push on your scale for a sec for more weight and let go. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. There we go. Smells pretty good so far. If you had no nose. Smells pretty good so far. If you smell farts all day. If all you did was sniff farts, it smells good. Why would a company make two different names for the same flavor? I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe they just were like, well, let's rename it. And then it just does it, you know, it just didn't. Everyone didn't get the memo. You know what I mean? I don't, I can't imagine anyone thinking it's a good idea to name anything Hokey Pokey. Like, has anyone heard of a Hokey Pokey before, like, as a flavor? So they were probably like, wait, no one knows what the fuck this is. So let's rename it to something that people know. Which is probably the smarter move. Do, 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 do. You're terrible. Twitch is not working for me today. Damn, that sucks. What's wrong with it? Are you not, uh, do you not have internet? Do you not have like adequate internet? Is there no transcoding available? I thought I got transcoding. 745. Doo, 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 doo. Twitch is so, I mean, oh, that's another thing that I wanted to say. The quality difference now, for some reason, we, me and Jerry were talking about it because I was uploading some stuff last night to, a, to the other channel. The quality on YouTube has gotten way worse. Like even from just like a few weeks ago, it's gotten so bad. I wonder if I can show you the difference in quality. I think I can. It's so bad. So I'll show you the difference real quick while I shake this. It's so bad. All right, let's look at this video here. This is um, the last, this is the last uh, live mixing, right? Oh, that's not what that is. This is the last live mixing. All right, I mean, it looks okay, but it's so soft. Everything is so like crushed. Just look at how soft everything is. I guess I can do this. It's so soft. It looks like 720p, to be honest. It looks so bad. And I spend a lot of money on making sure that this looks good. And now we're going to go to Twitch. And I'll show you the same thing over on Twitch. And you're going to go, oh. Oh. Oh, I see. There is a big difference. If it loads. Look at the difference. It's so different. It looks so much better. It looks so much better. That versus this. Hey, Rip. It's like mushy and like pixelated and looks so bad so bad and like it's gotten worse it's gotten worse like this episode which was last week or, or on monday this is so soft it looks completely different on twitch it looks so bad i don't know what's going on with youtube man 
you go back to like what we were talking about earlier. Stop fucking with it. <laughs> it was fine. You made it worse. You made YouTube worse. I didn't even know if that was possible, but they did. They did. They made it worse. Look how good Twitch looks. Live. Live. This is live. It's so crispy and sharp. Ooh. It's almost 4K. Oh. Well, that's going to look like that. Because <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I shouldn't have did it like that. That's what it looks like, essentially. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I just confused myself. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Bam. It's very minimal quality difference. Yeah, Wayne, that ha Wayne has that song stuck in his head. I, I, every track that I play, every song I hear gets stuck in my head for at least an hour. No, I'm using 709. I'm definitely using 709. Twitch's ingest servers will re... Um, let me see what you're saying here. Looks like you're set the col wrong color space. It does look like that. It definitely looks like that. And it's not even just the colors, it's the detail. Everything is just destroyed on it. Just to say the inside minds you done with Jay and Vic was great entertainment. Did you enjoy beating Mr. Hayes? Yeah, I actually met uh, Jay Hayes a while back at the, at the uh, Washington thing. I've always enjoyed him, man. I love Jay. I do. I think he's far, far more entertaining than so many others. And like I know, I know he's abrasive, and I know some people can't stand them. It's the same with me. That's but pretty. Dumb I enjoy, I really enjoy it, and I we had a great combo. It was just it was good fun. It was good fun. I would love to do that anytime. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna do a hand test. Let's bring the recipe back up. Off the hand, it tastes good. Vape pods, vape pods, vape pods, pods. Yes, vape pods. Thank you. I wish they could pop up. I wish that when you do the vape pods things, they pop up. Like, no, unless you're doing them on vape. Twitch. I don't think they pop up on Twitch. Oh, I don't think you can do it on Twitch, right? You have to do it through there, yeah. I really... I don't think this recipe works at all. There's way, 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 way too much stuff going on. Now, this is what I think might be happening. I don't think this is good at all, buddy. Personally. And I don't mean to be, uh, I don't mean to be abrasive, but this is midweek critique, and everyone gets a piece. Everyone gets a piece. Um, so let's see what you have to say. This one's for Wayne to critique. I've always been after Honeycrumb Ice Cream Profile. If anyone knows anything about flavors, it's Wayne. <laughs> Well, update with notes shortly. Ice cream base primarily consists of liquid barn vanilla bean ice cream. After finding this, I've never turned back. Yes, it's very good. Use vanilla cream to add the extra vanilla. Sure, strong flavor. Use, use very low. Uh, enhance to make sure the texture. Uh, for honeycomb, it goes without saying, VT honeycomb is the one I went with. I mean, this is the thing. Uh, we know that... This is the thing. We know that... Um, like, I know that the ingredients you're using they're good like you're using the right ingredients i just think it needs a lot more Mom, attention vape. to development i'm getting a very muddled messy mess to be honest uh the coffee is coming through terribly it's kind of mucking everything up i'm not sure why you added the coffee with the coffee in here Backed up the ice cream with a very underrated mix of hokey pokey and coffee milk uh, milk froth. I don't I don't know why you added that in there. It doesn't seem to do anything but like add like a dirt flavor to the whole mix. Uh, none of the butterscotches are coming out. Everything just seems very very muddled and low and light. Now there's there's something that could be happening is. You are way more sensitive to flavorings than I am because your palate's not as sophisticated and as grand as mine, 
which makes sense. Um, you have you have that weak sort of like anything just kind of blows your face away palette, which is okay. I mean, we all can't have a palette of a god, but I think uh, essentially for myself, it's everything is very very light. There's off notes going on. I'm getting like a Band-Aid off note. I'm not sure where that's coming from. That might be coming. There's just way too much going on, buddy. So you really need to, I keep doing that. I'm sorry. You need to really think about consolidating your recipe down. What's the point of the, with, of the Greek yogurt? What's the point of the pound cake? What's the point of the coffee? What's the point of... The smooth vanilla. Um, I think you got. I think you got into a case of just of of. Uh, it, it happens a lot to newer mixers. I'm not. I don't know if you're a newer mixer or not. I don't think you are. I think I've seen your recipes a few times before. But I think you got into a case of just like over ambition and just adding too much. And again, I'm not saying that that what you taste is is different than what I'm tasting. Uh, but I am going to make an. I am going to assume your palate's a lot more sensitive than mine, just because I can see what the percentages. I don't think this came together well at all. It tastes good on the hand, so that leads me to believe that it just needs a little bit of of uh, some patience and elbow grease. But I do think that there's a lot of. I do think there's a lot that needs to be done to this recipe. There needs to be a lot of consolidation. Like you could have just taken the the ice cream, uh, toffee ice cream. And then taking the honey, and then maybe taking another cream or another butterscotch, and just went with that to create the same effect. And it would have been way more flavorful. It would have been way easier to balance. It would have been way more saturated. It would have produced a much longer flavor. Because this flavor is so short, it leads me to believe there's a lot of vanillin in here, and this vanillin is what's kind of muting everything. I mean, you have so many different things going on. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Unfortunately, not a big fan. I'm going to have to, we're going to have to give you a lower score. We're going to have to give you, I'm going to have to give you a one and a half out of five. We're going to give you a one and a half out of five um, on this bad boy here. Unfortunately, it's just, uh, it's just far, there's far too much negative with the recipe than there is positive. Um, I would think about this. Think about just finding just getting the ice, the toffee ice cream base to work, right? Just getting the toffee ice cream base to work with two to three ingredients. And I think you can do that with just the vape train toffee ice cream and maybe another cream, maybe the vanilla ice cream by Liquid Barn, or maybe you can add in uh, the Flavora cream. Try to get that toffee ice cream base to work and then lightly layer in that honey note. No need for all the, no need for the milk froth, no need for the pound cake, no need for the smoked butterscotch. You know what I mean? Like it's just way too much kind of, everything's getting in the way, everything's jamming up, everything's just kind of producing like a muted, flat experience that, that's filled with off notes. That's pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Not a fan, buddy. Not a fan. I'll, 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 I'll let you redeem yourself. I'll let you redeem yourself. Do some heavy tweaking. Maybe get a buddy to, to cross-reference with. You know, Say, hey, try this out. Let me know what you think. Um, and then send it back, and, I'll, and I'll, let you, I'll let you redeem yourself on this one. I'll let you redeem yourself on this one. Other than that, I, I, I think this is overall... This is, this is an overall sort of like clear example of over-flavoring. Over-flavoring, over-ambition. It just got way... Way too ahead of yourself, I think. There's no balance whatsoever in this profile. Um, so I hopefully, you know, don't take it personally. This is, this is the show. And I admire your gumption to send your recipe in. But I'm going to be honest, not a fan. Not a fan. We're going to give you a one and a half out of five along with a bing bong. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. Moving on. Moving on. I'll let you redeem yourself. So make sure that you tweak it and you send it back. I, I actually want you to send me a recipe. You have a month. Send it in. I want it perfected. I want it at least a three out of five. Let's get at least a three out of five. And I think you would agree with a lot of what I'm saying. I think you agree that it's not quite hitting the spot. You know what I mean? 
All right, moving on. What should we do next? Should we do the mint Kit Kat? I think we should do the tobacco because I think the mint Kit Kat might be like the last, the last one. Yeah, way too much in that recipe. Looks like I need to rework this one then. Yeah. Yeah, just a little, just, just a little consolidation. Take a look at what, take a look at, uh, at what, uh, take a look at what you want out of it. You know what I mean? Like, what do you want? Do you want a toffee ice cream with like a nice honey experience? Do you want a rich honey experience with like light toffee notes? Do you want a heavy cream experience with light toffee and light honey notes? Um, and try to work, try to work backwards from there. You know, how do I get this toffee ice cream to work? Okay, you got the toffee ice cream base. Now, how do I layer in these honeys? Shut up! I gotta stop yelling at him. That's probably why he starts barking because I've been yelling at him to shut up. Oh God, what am I gonna do? All right, there we go. I want you to redeem yourself. You have a month to send it back in. I'll let you skip the queue once it's finished, all right? You'll, you can skip the queue. I don't want you to go out on a 1.5. I want you to redeem yourself. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. JW P08. We're gonna let you redeem yourself. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna leave you hanging like that, okay? All right, let's go. We're gonna do the Watson Silver Remix, which I don't know what it is, but this looks pretty good. Let's play the tunes, let's play the tunes. Let's play the tunes. What are you barking at? Huh? What are you barking at? Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? There he is, your river cameo of the day.
Okay, perfect time. Boom. Is my old rookie move getting recipe bumped again? Which ingredient did you have a question for? Yes. Uh, yeah, one second. I'll bring it up. Can you just send it to me in the chat? It was like Great Lakes or something. Um, um, Nation, I'll work on a cream base a bit more and redeem it again. Glad to hear I did well in the strawberry, though. Yeah, that's what I, that's exactly what I, what I would like to see. So send that in as soon as you uh, as soon as you can, you'll get added right to the queue. You sound like the parody best chef. If I like the flavor of a recipe that isn't mine, but it seems too light, would it be better to up the overall percentage of the recipe or tweak each flavor individually? It really depends. It really depends. You can try to up each in individual ingredient to see if that, you could try to up the entire recipe to see if that works. But if it doesn't, you might want to, uh, to like, you know, tweak it a bit, like actually kind of tweak what's, what's losing and what's, what's not kind of working in the recipe. All right, 555 five, five gold at 1.25, butterscotch ripple at 0 0.9. That's fine. Cornbread. This is what really interests me, this cornbread at 0.7%. I don't know if we're be able to taste that that low. Uh, Anywhere is custard. 0 0.9, very interesting percentages. Why not 1%? That's what I'm kind of confused on. Sweet smoky tobacco, 0 0.6. And then Turkish at 0 0.4. Oh. She said, press it, let go. Hey, you were right. <laughs> Whoever said that, was it Elm Nation or was it Enser? You were right, that did work. That's a nice little tip right there. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to keep that one in the books. I will perfect and resubmit. All right, I'll, I'm gonna hold you to it. Like I said, you can, uh, you can redeem yourself here. We're not gonna let you go out like that. I promise. Three sixty four. Do, 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 do. We need a river emote. You're right. We do need a river emote. I'm going to make one. What kind of tobacco is anywhere at 555 gold? I'm not exactly sure. It smells like an RY4, like a, like a huskier RY4. 
What's up, Wayne's greetings from Brazil. Hey, Brazil, Praj. What's up, Praj? The recipe window is too bright. Does this help at all? No, that doesn't help you. Can you just not read that at all? Seven forty five. All right, I see your recipe here, this uh, rookie move. This, is not, this isn't the one I was talking about. Uh, we could do that one right after this one. We might have to bump. We might, we might, I should be able to, I should have everything. We might have to bump one of these. We might have to bump both of these until next week. Actually, the mint Kit Kat and the blue balls. You did send this in a while back. My cookie dough ice cream recipe has a GLF ingredient. Maybe that was what I was talking about. It was like, it was some weird ingredient. So do you want me to mix this one up or do you want me to mix a different one? Can you do a dark theme? Oh yeah, 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 I can. You're right, I can do that. Ah, that works, doesn't it? Is that better? More specifically, like I say, it was only a seven to 10% recipe and it's light, but you like it and it seems balanced, but how much would you increase the overall percentage percent to test? Um, I mean, it doesn't, that's the thing. It like, it doesn't really matter. It unfortunately just doesn't really matter. You just have to kind of play it by, uh, You kind of have to play it by ear. I mean, bump it up 1%. It might, it might completely be okay at 1%. You might have to bump it up a few percent. You might only have to bump up one ingredient. It's so recipe dependent. There's no like standard rule. Hell yeah, that's better. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sorry, guys. All right, all you guys with your cheap monitors, you need an HDR monitor from Samsung, okay? All right, let's try this one out. This one is, now is this okay? Can you guys see this one? There's no dark mode on all the flavors, is there? Nah but I can try to zoom in as much as possible. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Help you find an alternative. I mean, it's up to you. If you, that's up to you. Do you want to find an alternative? I don't know what company that one is, GLF. Great Lakes flavors or something, right? All right, this one is Watson Silver Remix by Faded J. By Faded J. When I saw this, I was very interested. I'm gonna do a back of the hand test. Yes, back. you should do back of the hand test with tobaccos. It's just flavoring, it's not gonna kill you. Mm, seems a little light. But it doesn't taste a little light. It tastes really good. Recently had Ohm's Watson Silver Tobacco. Described as a creamy butterscotch with full tobacco. 
Real good. Let me try to let led me to build a recipe with very similar to the original, but not as sweet butterscotch forward as the OG. Use the magnetic stir for two, four hours. Would steep two weeks or more. Two weeks. Don't ever send a recipe that's a two weeks steep ever again. It is a little light. It is a little light. So with my tobaccos personally. I mean, I shouldn't say my tobaccos, but the tobaccos that I like to make and the tobaccos that I like, they have more, I like a more full body tobacco experience. I am not the biggest fan of like a lighter, leafier tobacco. This isn't that. This is a little bit on the weedy side. This is a little bit on the light bakery side. Uh, it's actually balanced pretty nicely. But it is light. It's unfortunately a little too light. Yeah. Two weeks. I don't know if two weeks is going to help this that much. So. I like it. I like, I, I, this is like, this is what Saiyan was saying. Like, I, I would turn everything up. I mean, cornbread at 0.7% is... Cornbread is like a six to eight percent ingredient. You know what I mean? At like less than half, at less than one percent, I don't think it's doing anything but muting the mix here. And you, you might be another one that is, you know, a more, uh, a more light palette, more sensitive palette. Cause I get the butterscotch. It's like a sweet butterscotch. I get like a light sort of like almost like maple syrup note. On the finish, I get somewhat of like a light, like a like a American tobacco, but like a like a like a weedy, grassy American tobacco. But it's it's light. And then on the finish, it's like a light sort of RY4 tobacco but it's light as well. You know what I mean? Like everything is just right there. It's just a little too light. Um, uh, granted you, since you were like the first person who had, who sent their recipe in, maybe I didn't make it clear. Like we're not steeping anything in this show. I'm pretty sure we made that clear, but it's okay. Um, it's okay. I don't think any I don't think amount of, uh, any amount of steep is going to help this that much though. It's just overall really it's just overall lacking. Like just lacking in all departments. So it's just too light. It's just too light, I think. There's a nuttiness to it which I like from that 555. I like that nut like there's so there's so much potential here. There's so much potential here. River keeps coming in, he wants pets. Wish you could see, so cute. What's wrong, bud? You don't know what to do with yourself now that mama's not here. Mama. Come on, get out, I don't want to vape near you. Go, go play somewhere. Hmm. There's a lot of potential here, but it's just lacking, man. It's just, uh, it's quite unfortunate. I like the nuttiness. I like the profile. I like where your head's at. Uh, I haven't had the original, so I can't, I can't claim its authenticity or its accuracy to the original profile. I wish I, wish I did, but I'm not going to knock you for that. I'll knock you more for the accuracy towards the profile that it looks like you're going after, which I think you did a good job on. It's just too light to really kind of gauge a good... It's a little too light to gauge like a good understanding of it. Again, this is for me. This is light to me. This is really light to me. Um, we're gonna have to give you two out of five. Two out of five. A couple low scores today. A couple low scores. It's all right. It's okay. Not everyone can be a winner. Not every not every recipe can be top of the top. 
you know, not every recipe can be up there. I think there's a lot of potential here. I think if you just push the bound, if you just push the flavor up a little bit, you could easily get a two and a half out of five, like 50, 50, you know what I mean? A 50 out of a hundred. Um, but what I want to see is just an entire sort of redoing of this to just make it much more saturated, much more robust, much more, much more depth involved. Everything does kind of feel just a little wispy, a little too light, a little too soft. And it's really hard to kind of gauge a good understanding of what this recipe is doing, what this recipe is trying to do, what this recipe wants to do. You know, off the back of the hand, it's even light. Yeah, off the back of the hand, it's even light. It's just, it's too light, way too light, way too light. Maybe his palate is more sensitive than your godly palate. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm assuming. All right, there you go. Um, play it by ear. That's an expression I will start to use and remember. Brazil here, 4K is even hard to get as a 4K is even hard to get as a yearly salary. Yearly salary in Brazil. I mean, if you're in Brazil, I think the last thing you need to worry about is a 4K TV, you know? How's the crime there? Is crime in Brazil still bad? I know nothing about Brazil. I just know that some, there's a lot of crime, but I could be wrong. Uh, thanks, Wayne. That's more advice I was trying to ask. Being a new mixer, being a new mixer sucks. Hey, you'll get there, buddy. Great Lakes flavors, I think, are fairly similar to Wonder flavors. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's confusing how flavor companies can be rebranded at different sites. FA is TFA, but it's Italian. Oh, give me flavors. Yeah, it can get a little confusing for sure. Uh, my cigarette recipe I made is super full, but after two weeks, it went to shit and lost the fullness. Sometimes that happens with tobaccos. Yeah, sometimes that happens with tobaccos. Yeah, this, this juice is a little too light. A little too light, brother. For me, for my palate, it's a little too light. It's, it's just like barely, it's like barely there. Barely there. I get a little nutty. Like I get, I get like, if you were to package this recipe and then just like give me an impression of it, that's what I get. It's like, I get such a light impression of this flavor. I just want like, I want you to just throw it at me. You know what I mean? Like dump it in there. Dump in the 555, dump in the butterscotch, dump in the sweet and smoky tobacco. Layer that shit in there nicely. I think you got a great recipe on your hands. It's just the execution of it for me is just, it's lacking. It's, it's quite, quite soft. And I'm vaping this, you know, out of, a, out of a Hadley as well. No, crime is good. Made presidency. Oh, okay, that's good. Have you considered reformulated quick with TFA VC2? I should, actually. I probably should. It is better in every way. I probably should do that. All right, let's keep it moving. How come I don't see any mods on the channel? Just wondering if you ever if you ever get keyboard warriors or SJWs on your case. <laughs> no, there's mods. They're they're in there. They're in there. A lot of us went over to Twitch. That's the thing. YouTube is kind of we kind of forgotten about it. Some flavors prefer to steep. A lot of flavors don't. You soon to learn. Just keep half a test bottle for a week and go back to it. Um, when uh, DIY, are you being serious when you said no e-liquid e should need to steep? Well, I, yeah, I am being serious. You shouldn't. No e-liquid should need to steep. You can make. <sighs> ew, something in my throat. You can make anything without having to steep it. It might take a really long time, but no no e-liquid should need to steep. And this show would be so boring if we had to steep, if I would mix things up and be like, okay, that's the show. We're going to have to wait two weeks to come back and then redo these. You know what I mean? This is not something I'm interested in doing. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. I didn't get the joke. What's the joke? I don't get it. 
I don't get it. No, crime is good. Made presidency. I, I don't, I, you lost me there. I don't know. I don't know anything about the politics of Brazil. All right, you want me to do your Saskatoon one, rookie move. Okay, we'll do this one. This will be the last one. All right, so Mint Kit Kat and Blue Balls, we're going to have to push you to next week. You guys will be first on the docket. Let's see who else we got next week. Well, we'll do that after we mix this one up. All right, you know the drill. Sworn we did this one, dude. Jesus, how much did you make of this? All right, here we go. Rookie move by a rookie mixer. I wonder how good this is going to be. Hey, Kate. Did you get anything? Huh? No clothes? That you got socks? Why? Do babies need socks? No, they don't. Do babies need socks? Do babies wear shoes? Do babies get the blues? Do babies take blues? Kate's yelling at me. You guys can't hear her. Did you get the baby food maker? Yeah, I would. Baby food maker. You know what a baby food maker is? Also, a blender. 
right? Oh, so this thing cooks baby food, mushes it, and cooks it. This is a very odd recipe, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. This is very, this is a very, uh, this is an odd one. These seals, you know what I mean? These goddamn seals. Are babies allowed to play with knives? Do, 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 do. Look at this weird recipe. A sai berry, what is a Saskatoon berry? A Saskatoon berry. What's that? Riddle me that. Zero point one out of five. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not that much of a dick. As hard as I am with these recipes, I am very uh, forgiving, and I'm very like, ser like in all seriousness, I do want you guys to better these recipes, and I want. I, I am giving you the, my, my true, true opinions on these recipes. Because otherwise, then what's the point, you know? I just think we can add a little entertainment to it, you know? By making the, by coloring the commentary a little bit. But my scores and my true thoughts remain. I just use a little color, color commentary here. Saskatoon. Knives if you watch them? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, right. That baby will be taken away so fast. I'm sure someone has, uh, has done that. Let their baby play with knives on stream. I'm sure it's happened. All right, anyone figure out what the fuck a Saskatoon is? Babies can play with knives. Don't forget her concealed weapons permit while you're at it. <laughs> Wasn't there a recent case where they were hiding, like, drugs on babies? I'm sure that's a common thing, actually. Ba uh. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go. So good it has a president as a representative. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I see. Illuminati says, I'm pretty sure we did this one also. Yeah, I could have sworn we did this one. I could have sworn we did it. It looks... I mean, all the ingredients were right there. Maybe we were going to do it. Backstory on Rookie Move, I started mixing April 19th and stab at mixing was Rookie Move and it was horrible. I had so much sugar cooking and I was threw up on a first pull. I'll tweaked it over a few months till this one where it was vapable. My mother-in-law is from Morocco. Brazil is one of the few places she can go without a visa. I made the joke that next thing she'll be in the basement sorting drugs in a bra. Babies wear shoes for fashion, not to look homely, not to look homeless. Yes, baby's feet get cold. Yep, they need socks. Don't get restrictive socks. Get a bottle warmer. I still consider this my worst recipe. Then why the fuck would you send it? It's best to get them to start wearing shoes as early as possible so they'll not hate it once they get old enough to walk around. Huh. 
How much? All right, let me ask you to those who have kids and dogs. How much is raising a kid similar to raising a dog? It sounds very similar. Kate's laughing. It sounds very similar. Like, yeah, you need to make sure that it wears its collar so it gets used to the collar. Dad Wayne is going to be a good thing to see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Saskatoon is a city in Canada. Here's a recipe for you, Wayne. Better food, banana baby cookies. Baby, baby plus ba banana plus apple. No steep time, just mix in a blender. <laughs> Better food, baby cookies, plus banana plus apple. Can I eat it myself? What the fuck, Kate? This baby food has no sweetener. <laughs> Should we do baby food reviews? Hey, Sloppy Shovel, thank you for the sub, brother. It's much appreciated and much love. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you, Sloppy Shovel, for joining the crew. Two-month streak. Can we redeem the check out my recipe option for the show? You can, but you're going to be at the bottom of the list. And every time someone redeems the other one, the mix and review recipe, uh, it's the critique recipe one. Those take precedence. So unless there's no more of them, then I'll go through the check out my recipes. The check out my recipe is mainly for if you just want me to look at a recipe. It's not meant to be mixed. All right, here we go. This smells intense. This smells really odd. That's pretty darn impressive. <laughs> Kids require way more attention. More attention than River. You're tired, babe? Where did you go? I think River's hungry, so he keeps bothering me. He keeps coming in here and like asking me for stuff. That's what I got. Yeah, let's see. No one wants to see these. They're cute. Okay, we got baby hangers. Baby hangers. Let's see the clothes. I didn't get clothes. I got little baby socks. Look how little they are. Look how cute they are. Oh my lord. They're not pink, are they? I can't tell. One of them is one baby pair is like pink. Oh my lord. They're not pink, are they? I can't tell. One of them, one pair is like I don't want pink in my house. <laughs> oh my god, this doesn't even fit like my thumb. These are so tiny. Six dollars for this piece of junk. This is like freaking... A napkin. No, they charge like a million dollars just because they know you need them. They got swaddles. Do you know what a swaddle is? Yeah, it's like a baby burrito. Yeah. Some swaddles. And that's it? And just some baby washcloths. Very nice. Very nice. Mom, I want a baby. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I test drove the upper baby. Yeah, is it nice? Take Kate test drove the upper baby stroller. She keeps saying that we have to get an upper baby. I compared it to the other ones, much smoother. Right? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. It's like, okay. It's like the Land Rover of strollers. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. Bad recipes all around. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. This is just a. This is bad, Badger. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> what are you looking at? The chat. Oh. Yeah, they're happy for us. And River is jealous. He needs his, he needs attention too, okay? He's just hungry. All right. Hungry, Oh, right, I'm going to be honest. This is yeah, this might be a 0 0.1 out of 5. Come on, come help me. It is so odd. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here. What are you trying to make here? This is, <laughs> I don't mean, to, I'm not going to, we're not, I'm not putting on an act right now. I'm not putting on an act. This is a one out of five. This is really bad. Is, are you trolling me with this one? Am I being trolled? Did you, tr this is a troll recipe. Is this why you wanted me to mix it so bad? The acai berry with the Saskatoon berry is producing like it. 
the best way I can describe it is it tastes like a sh like a dingleberry. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a dingleberry. Bye bye. What on earth were you trying to do here? There's so many off notes. It's like it's a like, this is actually a masterclass in off notes. It's like you tried to create a recipe with the most off notes in it. Wow. I don't even know what I'm tasting. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm tasting. I, I honestly think it... Let's taste the Saskatoon berries by itself real quick. I warned him. You fucking did warn me. You did warn me. You're not getting a redemption on this one. You're not going to get a redemption on this one. You will forever be known as Saskatoon Dingleberry. Yeah, this, it's the Saskatoon berry. It's so, like, uh, bad. <laughs> it tastes like a... It, it tastes like a... Uh, I, I, there's no reason for me to vape it. it. There's no redeeming qualities about it. It tastes as if you took a blueberry, you took all of the good out of it, all of the life, all of the hope, all of the innocence out of a blueberry... And then you, and then you had this dead, like dead leaking carcass, and then you rolled it in dirt. <laughs> That's what that tastes like. And then you mixed it with biscuit, sugar cookie, cake, and buttercream frosting, and then slathered it in super sweet. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in you. I think we need to ban him. Bye bye. No, we're not gonna ban you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, I will say, let's see what else you've made here real quick. Do you have any other recipes? The cookie dough ice cream. The cookie dough one seems fine. I mean, this one seems like a normal recipe. But I don't know what Great Lakes Flavors is. So you, if you want, you can send it to me and I'll mix it months later. <laughs> You're going to have to go back at the back of the queue, buddy. You're back at the queue for this one. Um, all right. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to sound mean. But this is like everything that you did in this recipe is wrong. Everything you did in this recipe is wrong. The, the top note is, is wrong. The top note's bad. Unless you like, like a, unless you want like an earthy, crappy berry, which, you know, some people might like. I don't think that's what you were going for. When I look at this, I think you were going for somewhat of like, maybe like some sort of like blueberry cake or something like that. What I, what you get is just a, is a depressing, sad rendition of that. There's so many off notes, like everything is clashing, like, the berries are clashing. The berries start to clash against the cream. The cream's clashing against the bakery. The yellow cake with the anise note is clashing against the cream and clashing against the berries. And then the sugar cookie just... I don't even taste the sugar cookie. You were right. You said 0 0.1 out of 5. I'm not going to go that low. I will say it, it's a recipe. You know, it is... There is a top note, a middle note, and a and a body or in a in a finish. So you do have a full recipe. It's just, I mean, this is like an impressively bad recipe, in my opinion. It's impressively bad. It's impressively bad. And I don't take it personal. I I, I just don't think you'd made a good recipe here in any sense of the word. Um, you may think that this like you like this is the type of thing like let me let me let me give you an example. Let me give you an example, okay? There is a delicacy that that my, me and my family, my from our country, what we eat, and it's essentially like li, li, like live snails, and you just take these little like little tiny little snails, and they kind of swim around in like this brine, and then you take the snail and just slurp it up and chew it, and then you eat it, and by all measures, it is not good food. It's disgusting. No one should be eating it. But I enjoy it because 
there's something about it that I enjoy. You know what I mean? Like there's something about it that me and my family enjoy. It's a delicacy. That's how most delica- delicacies are. This is your delicacy. This is your snail. This is your live snail. If, if you enjoy this. I don't know if you enjoy it or not. But this is essentially that in recipe form. In DIY e-liquid recipe form. <laughs> like this, like you should have kept this private. This should have never seen the light of day. <laughs> this should have never seen the light of day. <laughs> He goes, nope, I hate it. Oh my God. So you were basically trolling me. You wanted me to try this out. You're trying to get me on a gotcha. I see. All right. Well, now we know. All right. I don't want to, I don't want to, you're, you're at the back of the bus from now on. All right. You're the, you're at the end of the train from now on. I don't want to end on that note. I do want to go, f- I, uh, let's mix up graphics man's juice and then we'll, we'll end it on that and we'll do the mint Kit Kat. Um, we'll, we'll do that. We'll start next week's show with a meat Kit Kat and then we'll see who else is up. But let's start with this one. If anyone wants to submit the recipes, this now is a good time. Let's do one more recipe. All right. We'll do one more recipe. Blueberry gummy candy, blueberry juicy ripe. You guys know the drill. Let's pump up the tunes. This this looks odd as well. This is a like a blueberry ROI4. I'm fascinated to see how this is gonna go down. We got a whole handful of winners today, guys. Whole handful of winners today. And one strawberry and cream. <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done? Let's try this bad boy out. Blueberry ROI4. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, let me get it. Let's not get it twisted. I That's enjoy an odd recipe impressive. every once in a while. They gotta be, they gotta make sense though. Like, I just told you I eat snails. You know what I mean? I actually haven't had that dish in a long, long time. The last time I had it, I was a child, so I shouldn't even say I eat snails. It's been a long time since I've had that that little dish. Uh, you say flavor sweetness. Okay. If you say flavor sweetness, that's what I use. All right, guys? You tell me. You, tell, you want super sweet? I use super sweet. If you want me to mix up my own sort of dilution of sucralose? I'll do that for you. I don't want anyone saying, you didn't make my recipe right. Let's see how this goes. (sighs) 
Refresh the description. All right, uh, all right. Okay, let me finish this first. Do, 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 do. How is the show? Is it entertaining? Are you guys entertained? As long as you're all entertained, I'm happy. You know, not every show you're going to get a banger. Not every show you're going to get a whole list of bangers. I thought we were... Act I was actually kind of hopeful. Um, I mean, the strawberry and cream was good. Everything else was kind of lacking. And then we had Badger over here. We got to talk about Badger, guys. What did we do with him? What do we do with this guy? Do we make a Hall of Shame? Should we add a Hall of Shame? Does Badger is Badger the first one to go up on the Hall, the Wall of Shame? Is that too mean, though? It's not too mean because you were trolling me. You baited me. All right, you said uh, refresh. Let me see. Was sitting around one day thinking about some tobaccos my grandfather used to smoke in his pipe as a kid. I remember cherry blueberry specifically, so I wanted to create the idea of a fruity tobacco in a vape. I went with blueberry because it can be sticky sweet and yet have a darkness and richness that would be enhanced with the tobacco. This one, this one, this is really one of my first start to finish recipes building on each flavor. I also worked in layers to source out the combinations that work. You get a deep blueberry on the inhale and the main note, riding on a body of RY4 and custard with a nice tobacco finish. Uh, the first experiment was the RY4C, Ruyin Caramel Custard Tobacco. I mixed Holy One and left Ruyin and Custard was blown away by how well these two play off each other. The layer itself is a great vape. Then I, they create a really well-balanced tobacco Graham Caramel Custard. It's dark yet. I mean, I kind of just want to vape that. And yet, kind of dreamy to vape and linger in the sun. Next was the blueberry juicy gummy candy. I remember Wayner noted somewhere that blue blueberry juicy was a decent standalone blueberry. When I tasted it, it was juice, but not really sticky enough. So then you added the candy. Okay. Um, last year, I have been using full force sweetness a lot. Uh, I also made batches with super sweet and no sweetener. It ne really needs the sweetener to pull back the tartness of the berry. It also helps with the overall quality of the texture. Uh, okay. And we got ourselves. Yes. Thank you, sir. Built on a Hadley Nightcore. 80 fuse clapped in dual 26 gauge 40 wrap at three millimeters at again another higher uh, ohm higher ohm one all right i see this is the thing you can't really get the percentages when i do that i'm gonna have to do it like that i'll figure out the brightness issue I was being honest, who else has the ball to show Wayne their first creation in mixing? No, you're right, you got the balls. That is, that's, that's, you certainly have the balls. I will never, I would never send Wayne or anyone else my best private recipe. I have over 100 recipes in private and 30-ish are shake and vape bangers. <laughs> Giving you the content. <laughs> Yeah, we all have our we all have our mishaps. We all have our mishaps. That some mishaps are worse than others. <laughs> some mishaps are worse than others. I I want you to send in one of these bangers. I want you to send in one of these bangers now. Let's see. Exile of Rayclast. Interesting. We got a Poe player. Okay. OK. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to say that. Okay. 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 I honestly don't know what to think. This is kind of stumping me here. This is kind of stumping me here. It's kind of like a... This is kind of stumping me, man. It's kind it's this is odd this is really odd. I I mean I really don't know what to say. It is exactly what you say it is. It's exactly what you say it is. It's a blueberry RY4. <clears throat> but what's interesting is that it's a very sweet juicy blueberry with a very sort of like robust RY4. Like you're right this RY4 base is actually really good. My thing is I think the blueberry is a little too sweet. I don't know though, because it does work. This is so weird in a good way. Yeah, this is a, a, a very odd mix. It's like a, it's a blueberry R4, so you get, there's so much flavor stage. Like there's, there's so much flavor stage. There's so much imaging. It's clearly blueberry, then clearly RY4. There's no mixing of the two, which is fun. I can literally taste both of the flavors on top of each other, which is really cool. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest. I didn't have high hopes for this one. This one looked very odd, but I'm glad that we, we did mix it today. This is, this is very interesting. <clears throat> this is like another one of those like delicacies, but I find that, I mean, I, I kind of dig it. I feel like there's going to be like, I feel like this is a polarizing flavor. I can't imagine too many people being hyped on this specific sort of blend, but I think it actually kind of works. I personally think the blueberry is a little too sweet. I want a more natural blueberry and I do want... I want more tobacco. I want more of a robust tobacco in there, whether it's lifting up that RY4 or adding like a, like a rich, robust tobacco to it. Um, and then maybe figuring out how to imp implement like a more natural blueberry flavor because it tastes as if it's like a, and it tastes as if it's just a little too, there's a little too much contrast going on, I think. Like, it's like a very sweet candy blueberry finished with an RY4, which doesn't sound too appetizing, but it actually does kind of work. And I think it could be better. Uh, I do think there's, a, there's a, a good amount of room for improvement here. I really want to try that RY4 with the Runyon Custard, because that's what I'm really kind of, that's what's kind of keeping me stuck to it. I also want to try this. I think you got a really good base. I also want to try this with cherry extract, TFA cherry extract. Try like a cherry version. I think cherry might fit the bill here better or a deeper, more natural blueberry. 
So maybe instead of blueberry gummy candy, maybe like a bilberry or maybe, I mean, maybe even that Saskatoon berry, actually, that might actually have a, a useful purpose in this recipe. Uh, something that has like almost like a deeper tartar nature to it, just so... And I can't believe I'm saving, saying this, but just so it's not that contrasted, because it's so like, here's sweet candy blueberry, and then here's rich RY4. I kind of do want a little bit more of like a blend of the two there. It's a little too contrasted, a little too incohesive. It's a very interesting mix. It's a very interesting mix. I'm kind of stumped at what to even score it on. It's accurate. It's exactly, exactly what you say it is. So you got that. Um, I don't get any off notes, which is so surprising considering that it's the most contrasted vape that I've had in a long time. So you got that. Uh, I want to keep vaping it. Like, it doesn't repel me away from it. It's not exactly my profile. Don't get me wrong. It's not, this is not an all day vape for me. But there is, like, that RY4 base does want me to come back to it. And because there's nothing offensive about it, it's like, you know, you can keep, you can keep ripping on it. So you got that. It's adventurous as hell. It's a risk taking recipe. The execution seems to pay off. I just think that there's a there's there's a good amount of room for improvement. There's a good amount of room for improvement. Let me see what you have to say about it. Let's see. I'm curious now. Hey Gordo, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Or just a regular sub. Sub three month on a three month streak. Thank you, thank you. Much love, brother. I did a version with a touch less berry and uh, and uh, and allowed the RY4 to come through more, but it did not linger as a top note as much. Yeah, I don't know if that's the answer. I don't know if the balance is good. I, I don't think the, there's anything wrong with the balance. I think it's just there's the, the, the profile itself, the blueberry specifically profile itself. I think it's just a little too sweet and candy. It doesn't taste like a natural blueberry. It tastes like like a sweet blueberry gummy, basically. No. No, no, no. What the fuck do I rate this recipe? I think it'd be three and a half out of five. I'm gonna give you a three and a half out of five. It's almost a four, basically. I would say a strong three and a half out of five. And we're going to add a little bit of a sleepy son of a bitch to it. a sleeping son of a bitch, I'll tell you. Um, I'm impressed. I did not expect this to work as well as it did. I think work on the blueberry. If you want to. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. But if you, I think if you were to work on the blueberry and find a more natural, deeper blueberry mix, you will have a more cohesive mix. And it, I think it'll just lift everything up and really kind of get you to like that four, four and a half. Um, because the RY4 blend is really, really good. And I don't think that needs to be touched. I don't think that needs to be touched at all. I think just figure out a way to make a more natural blueberry to make a better cohesive mix and you have a really high scoring recipe and a really weird sort of like uh risk taking recipe that that those, i mean those are the type of recipes that like people talk about you know with those those like oddities I, I, because it's not a blueberry tobacco it's not it's a blueberry ry4 there's a very big difference to that it's a blueberry ry4 that's pretty darn impressive <laughs> very odd and there's something about it. Just there's that hook to it. I like it, man. I like it. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause. All right. Who the fuck wins? Who the fuck wins? We're gonna give the the show. We're gonna give the win to Vaping Badger. Let's go. Vaping Badger gets the win for trolling me. Thank you, Vaping Badger, for trolling me. Psych. Bye bye. Um. Um, 
I kind of want to give you the win. I kind of want to give you the win over the creamy strawberry just because I think this takes a little bit more of a risk. It's a little bit different. It's, it's way out of anyone's comfort zone. And I do want to reward that at least more so over the safer strawberry custard. We're, we're going to give it a tie. We're going to give you guys a tie. A tie. It's going to go to uh, Elmation and it's going to go to Graphics Man. You both get the win today. You both get 100 points. Let's send them 100 points right now. You both get it. Uh, graphics, man. You get 100 points. You get 100 points. And then we're going to send... I don't remember how to spell Elm Nation's name. If someone can sp spell it out for me. Is it Elm Nation? Oh, oh, no, it's not. I don't remember how to spell it. But he gets 100 points as well. You both get the win for today. I can't choose between the two. I can't choose to be between the two because the strawberry custard is good and it's it's a really good strawberry custard or it's a really good strawberry recipe, really great strawberry base. And then the blue balls is really adventurous and it actually works and it really impressed me. Um, the honeycomb ice cream unfortunately needs a lot of work, but I think there is potential there. And the same goes with the uh with the watson silver mix by faded j um i personally find it just way too light but i think there's a lot of potential there and i would love you guys to just if you want make these better and send them back in and uh and then we can kind of we'll kind of go to a redux and see how how far along you guys see how far along you guys have come with these recipes uh i think that'll be fun too so you know, if you do, if you want to, you know, head back to the drawing board. Let me know what you guys think. Take the suggestions and see if you can make it better. Yeah, and that's it. That's what I got for you guys today, man. That's what we got for you guys today. LM Nation. Okay, thank you. LM Nation. Nation. Is that it? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Rage did a blueberry all right for uh, a few years ago. It's pretty good. All right, let's close up the shop. This was a fun show. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Good show, everyone. This was good times, good fun. Next week. All right, let's make our list for next week so I don't forget. Next week, let's see who we got for next week. Who, uh, who is next week's victim? Who is next week's victim? Let's see here. Midweek critique next week. Dex Santum is off the board. Pentecost Vantage off the board. Where did everyone go? Feels like everyone left. Faded J off the board. Okay, we got Mint Kit Kat. I apologize, Jersey Joe. It'll be next next week you get on there. Blueberry Tobacco off the board. Rookie Move off the board. All right, so we got, let's see here. St. Emony. Oh, this is private. Oh, you guys gotta... Come on. Stop privating your recipes. St. Tammany, your recipe's private, so I can't view it. Did we do a Dark Raven recipe at all? I don't think we have. So we got Dark Ravens. Chocolate banana butterscotch drizzled cheesecake. The mint Kit Kat. This this one I need sticks mix. So Lord Sigurd. Did we do Lord Sigurd as well? I feel like we did. Lord Sigurd Thorolf. Vanilla rum pipe. That looks really interesting. Filled with any teas. Dismiss. 
DFR, I know we did that. Just saying, I know we did that. M Gordo, let's see. M Gordo, your recipe is private. Josh Strips. Current state of affairs. Oh my God, all these VSO flavors. All right, and this is drip, drop, vape. Current state of affairs. What the fuck? All right. So I think we got our lineup for next week. Mint Kit Kat, chocolate banana, butterscotch drizzle cheesecake, an NET mix, and then this looks like a raspberry, it looks like a berry cream sort of deal, which looks pretty interesting. By Josh Drips. And St. Tammany, if you can unprivate it, you're also on the list, whatever your recipe is. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. And I think that is it. We also got NorCal Vapen, but we already did his Tahitian soda. So he'll be, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else. So if you guys want to send your recipes in, you'll be in on the week after next. Okay, so get them in, get them in, get them in, get them in, get them in. Send your recipes in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for live mixing, 5 p.m. Eastern. And that's it. Cool. All good? All good, everyone? Is that it? Are we all finished? I don't have anything else, right? I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, bye bye. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.